grace and peace in Jesus Christ to you. Our Pentecost worship video was recorded earlier this week before the news of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. As I saw the news, I remembered my neighbor Stan, whose son Trey graduated from high school earlier this month. I remember when Stan and I first became neighbors. Trey was just a toddler, and I remember him. I watched him as he rode his first bike with training wheels back and forth on our street. I remember when his younger sister was born and when the two of them would wait for the bus at the bus stop that was at the end of my driveway. Stan and I had long conversations after the death of Eric Garner, who died due to an illegal chokehold by the police and who also said, I can't breathe. I knew then that I needed to better understand how Stan always lived with anxiety for his son, because raising a young black man in our country was far more tenuous than I had ever considered. Stan occasionally attended the church where I was on staff. One of the other pastors included the phrase, Black Lives Matter, in a pastoral prayer after yet another black man died at the hands of police. It didn't matter that the pastor had spent more than 20 years as a police officer. There was immediate pushback from some of the church leadership. It was not appropriate for our suburban congregation or something like that. But the words of 1 Corinthians 12, 26 kept coming to mind. If one member of the body suffers, all suffer together with it. My friend kept telling me that he was suffering. He lived daily with fear for his son, his nephews, his family. He needed me, a sister in Christ, to hear him to understand him and to do something about it. I've spent the last few years reading and listening, learning about the ways in which I have thought that the society that I lived in was fair, really isn't fair. I don't want to believe that the people I admire, the people who taught me were racist, I don't want to think that I have been racist. Surely it would be more comfortable to not examine this and to just keep thinking it would all be okay if everyone would just obey the law. But laws aren't always just, and the justice system isn't always just. So we must continue to listen to listen to the prophets who continually call Israel to pay attention to justice and mercy and righteousness, to live so that there are not people being trampled in the city gates, cheated out of a day's wages, shoved aside because they aren't wealthy or privileged. We must continue to listen to our brothers and sisters who are crying out for mercy and justice. We must listen to those who teach us things that we may not have realized are part of our society, but that contribute to structures of racism, structures of sin. We must listen to those who are suffering, who are asking us to pay attention and be merciful. So today, we pray a lament for all those who have died, for those who mourn, for those who suffer. We pray because all are God's children. We pray because we are called to be disciples, those who are always learning how to witness to love in the world. We pray because we must learn about structural sin and we pray because 
this is difficult work. We pray so that young black men like my neighbor's son can grow up without fear so that he can get married and raise his children to live without fear. We need the spirit to guide us. Let us pray. Oh God, our guardian and refuge, we come to you with heavy hearts. Your children in the world are suffering. We think most days that we have progressed and created a society that is fair and safe for all people, but that is not true. Seeing injustices in our society is painful, and we ask forgiveness for our unquestioning acceptance of things as they are. Grant us mercy, O Lord. We pray for those who mourn. Grant them your comfort. Teach us to listen to each other, O Lord, as members of the one body of Christ. Grant us humble hearts to hear and to change. You have called us to make ourselves open to your wisdom like a refiner's fire, burning away impurities through your grace. Give us courage to live as your people, worshiping you through seeking justice and establishing righteousness. Help us to keep learning and working for mercy. Oh God, may our witness be one of humble hearts, seeking to live with love for our neighbors by always turning to you and your wisdom. In the holy name of Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.